Hello Shane, uh, this video gives you an idea of some of the uh, calculations and some of the proposed or recommended changes to your room that will uh, dramatically improve your sound. I'm just going to pop the, the rear wall back in, that's just so you can see the room at the moment, and we'll turn the room around a little bit. There we go, so that we can see. Uh, just to explain what's going on here, what you're looking at, first of all the screen which we can remove, you can see your speakers in position there. I'll just put the screen back and your subwoofer, I know it's in a cabinet there but I'm only concerned about where the subwoofer is really and your existing subwoofer at the back. These lines on the floor are room modes, these are where the uh, the frequencies of or the base frequencies create uh, null points and what's really interesting is there's one straight through your seating and straight through your left and right seats at the moment so the only two seats, well in fact none of your seats have got good sound because these two seats are also sitting in this um, quarter length mode so we talked about uh, making a few changes and one of the changes uh, that I have proposed is that we move the seats. Let's just have a look at why. This is, uh, this is a little um, tool that we use. I'm just going to move it backwards for a second. This is our sweet spot calculator. Um, and by moving it back in the room, you can see that your screen and certainly your speakers don't fit in within any of the recommended guidelines. So these incorporate THX and Dolby positioning guidelines. Um, by moving it back again, um, we can see that if the seats were moved forward, both your speakers and your screen would fit into that area. So let's just move those seats forward for a second. There we go. Um, and now your speakers uh, and your screen fit in nicely. Now the, I'm just going to get rid of that so that we can see a little more of what's going on. The next thing we can do is we can move your subwoofers. So I'm just going to uh, change that around a bit. Now this is your existing subwoofer um, which at the current moment is in the center. What we'd have to look at is whether or not we can remove some of your gear here um, <coughs> and maybe move it to the center or the left and put the speaker here or put it over the other side then it doesn't really matter. Worst case if we have trouble with size we can swap the two subs over. The beauty of doing this is, and I'll show you what happens here, is by putting a subwoofer here we cancel out this room mode by putting this subwoofer here we cancel out this room mode now this also creates a third virtual subwoofer not a real one but a virtual one by the collision of, of frequencies in the room effectively that wipes out this mode here this creates a very large and effective listening area all right so you don't have to pay for that one that's a free one so um, we've now got your screen and your speakers within the correct uh, viewing distances and, and listening distances. We've cancelled out the room modes in your room. We will need to adjust phase and timing on your subwoofers. And then that just leads us to what we can do to improve the sound in the room. So let's have a look at the calculations that we've done for the mirror points. I'm going to turn the room around a little bit. And based on that, you can see that we've discreetly selected where the acoustic panels will go so that they catch those reflections. These reflections, we don't want those killed too much so we're just going to diffuse those around the room a little bit. These will be absorbers and then at the back of the room there will be some more diffusion to stop the bouncing directly backwards and forwards within the room. We may possibly need a bit more diffusion but certain, sorry, absorption but at this point in time um, that's not uh, a requirement until we've installed these and, and remeasured the room and I think we'll be very close to to ideal there. I do understand there's a door in here and we'll have to look at how we get around that um, and we've done that many times before in terms of putting panels either on, or door, on a door or splitting it across a door um, but we can certainly manage that. So <coughs> I'll just get rid of those reflection points again. So what we're starting to see here now is how your room might look um, once everything's sorted out. The subwoofer is still hidden in the cabinet, the one at the back. Now the interesting thing is that there's actually probably room for another row of seats one day. Um, now of course there is a room mode sitting here, a, a base mode, but by uh, placing a second subwoofer here we would, uh, we would eliminate that as well. Sorry, a third subwoofer at that point would eliminate that room mode there. But again, only if you wanted to add an extra row of seats or if you were fussed about you know, the, the uh, sound quality in those seats. Certainly everything in this room now has been engineered to give you the sweetest possible vision and sound from these two primary seats. Right. 
in here you are going to get far better um, sound stage, far better imaging, far better focus. Um, you will be quite surprised by the improvement in, of sound in the room. This has been backed up by the other documentation I've sent you. Um, so those are the recommendations. Just repositioning the subwoofers, moving the seats forward, putting these acoustic panels up and I'm just going to go back to that um, sweet spot calculator for a second and what you can see here is that first of all we might have a bit of a bonus. I think your rear speakers which would become rear surrounds um, because that's what they are really um, could probably stay where they are which would save a bit of money um, and the your um, we could install some good new left and right surrounds and actually mount them inside the acoustic panel or in the wall if we cut into the wall and put them up high then that would give us access we probably would only have to go through one noggin which would be quite accessible from the cutout here I would suggest a couple of triad in wall speakers and suddenly you are uh, now in um, very much in a true Dolby THX configuration and um, you're looking quite good once all this is done we can then have a look at what we need to do if anything at all with your Atmos speakers but I would suggest at this moment in time that would be that would be step one so all in all um, move the subwoofers move the seats install uh, what is effectively eight acoustic panels uh, on the on it on the left and right walls in total and six panels on the left wall for now remeasure the room and we will see a spectacular improvement both in, in what you see in terms of the picture because obviously the, the viewing aspect is going to be improved and the sound quality um, it's uh, going to be a relatively small investment for a, for a substantial improvement in quality and that you know that real cinema feeling um, now the other thing you can do of course is if you so choose and you want to at that point in time we could look at putting some LED panels uh, some lights behind these screens if you should you know want to and that really adds some some warmth and some feature to the room uh, likewise if we do need to put panels in the ceiling we do we can put LED lights around those as well that really nails it in terms of the presentation of, of a cinema room and you can set up a welcome state when people walk in and it just feels absolutely fantastic all the lights dim and then the action begins so that's it Shane moving the subs moving the seats installing minimal amount of acoustic panels uh, do another acoustic adjustment um, adjusting timing and phase especially and maybe some EQ on the uh, subwoofers and uh, we should be looking pretty good I'll talk to you soon bye bye